Excuse me, sir, there's no smoke out. We are outside. It's our policy. I don't make the rules. You change your policy, it doesn't make any sense. We're outside, for God's sake. Sergei, what are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything, I'm just trying to enjoy a cigarette. So if you don't put that out, I'm going to have to call the police. Fine. I'm putting it out. There. Are you happy? Are you happy? Is everybody happy? This is how it started in Nazi Germany, you know? I do not question the general, especially when he's telling me to leave church. <laughs> do you question him when he sends his own men into an ambush? You are crazy. Everybody was killed. Gregory Ivanovich. Know each other since babies. Did General Kreloff order the escort elsewhere? Yes. He told me to to send it to find terrorists at Bamut. Then he told me to call Sergeant Zhukov to provide aerial reconnaissance. I heard them having an argument. I had my music on loud. But they were louder. They? Yeah. The electrician. Would you recognize the man if you saw him again? Yeah. He's Hispanic. Bald. So you're a teacher? Yes. I teach music at Westmore. Did you ever do any business or have any financial dealings with him? No. I understand he was in some kind of investment counselor. Uh, I didn't have any need for that. Teacher's salary, you understand. What do you think? A second from the left. Can you point to him? Number two. Okay, I need you to sign it to show that this is the man you're identifying as the one you saw in Trevor Riley's apartment on the morning he was killed. Stay on him. David, you got him? Suspect headed in the plaza. <laughs> I got him. Go. I'm in pursuit. Hey. Get back, move! Andrick, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Do not move! Stop resisting! There's a gun against your head! All agents, suspect is in custody. Put the guns down. So he can shoot me. The only person who's gonna get shot is me. I got this. Guns down! Good evening, gentlemen. You got the money? Of course, all three million. We said six. Did we? We did. I have three. That's a problem. Well, it's all the ambassador had on such short notice, so you're just gonna have to take it. You leave the three. When you come back with the rest, well, we have a deal. That's not gonna happen, Oscar. No. Yet. What's going to happen is you and Vlad are gonna take the three million and leave right now for Dulles to make your flight to the motherland. The reason you're going to want to go right now, besides the fact that it's just good travel sense to give yourself enough time for an international check-in, is in exactly four hours and 15 minutes, both of your names are going to suddenly pop up on Homeland Security's no-fly list. Lucky for you, you're booked on a flight that leaves in two and a half hours. So, if it were me, I'd much rather spend $3 million in Kiev than here in Georgetown. Way more bang for your buck. In fact, it may even feel like six once you're there. Excuse me, ma'am. You needed to translate over at the Security Council meeting at the conference building. 
But I was assigned here. Understood. But a translator dropped out, and we want a senior linguist to handle the meeting. A replacement will be sent to the Polish delegate shortly. Okay, if you say so. Muszę iść. Zastępca przyjdzie wkrótce. Powodzenia. Dziękuję, pani. Pan jest moim nowym tłumaczem? It's been a while since I've spoken Polish. Tak, ja jestem tłumaczem. Tak, ja jestem tłumaczem. Członkowie Walnego Zgromadzenia. Distinguished people, members of the General Assembly. Powiedzieć Funduszu Narodów Zjednoczonych na rzecz dzieci. Okay, uh, at this point... About the United Nations Children's Fund, because when you think about it, children really are the future. Isn't fully developed and, and, until you're much older. That's, that's what controls your sense of direction. For the record, we have the formula for ice cubes. And it only takes one of us to screw in a light bulb. Thank God. That's all. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to tip your waiters. Thank you, Ambassador Kusha. Speaking next, Ambassador Jonas Nadal. Where's this darkness coming from? You're not evil, I know you. No, no, you have an eagle's heart. And get rid of your gloves and tell me everything. I'm your friend. You can't do it alone. Talk to me! Just keep walking. Anything is funny. Let me give you one bit of advice. No matter what it is, don't just do it. Do it just. Hi, honey. <laughs> Hi, baby. What are you doing here? I was supposed to pick you up. Did you forget? I'm sorry. I no. totally forgot. No, no. Come on, or we'll be late. 
sorry. I have to steal him away now. Are you strong enough to kill yourself? Suicide is a coward's way out. Are you afraid of death? Just who in the hell do you think you are? Come in here with your weird ass accent, button into other people's business. And you think you are in total control of your fate? I know that I am in control of my fate. Well, you, you think you're in control. You have plans. And then suddenly, in the blink of an eye, everything and everyone loves. Get out. Wracam do Warszawy. <laughs> Nowy Polish joke. Dobry. <laughs> Gary, ty niczego nie rozumiesz. Ty niczego nie rozumiesz. Ja wracam do Warszawy. Nikoli jest chora, rozumiesz? A co ty jesteś uh, lekarzem? Czy bokserem, który za miesiąc walczy o mistrzostwo Europy. I gówno mnie to obchodzi. Wracam do Warszawy. Czy że mnie kurwa pogięła? Jeżeli teraz przestaniesz trunować, jesteś skreślony. Na samym dnie czarnej dupy! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Out! Chcesz być mistrzem? Musisz przejść przez piekło. Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. seconds and then <laughs> Moje zeznania złożone w śledztwie są sfałszowane. Są tam rzeczy, których nie powiedziałem. Albo zostały wyrwane przez sąd z kontekstu. Chcę powiedzieć tak, jak było naprawdę. Figuruje jednak pod nimi podpis oskarżonego. Protokoły czasami podpisywałem bez czytania, bo byłem... Mhm, mm no. Oskarżony dokończy? Bardzo. Zmęczony. To prywatna sprawa oskarżonego. To sądu nie interesuje. 
Sąd przychyla się do wniosku obrony i odbiera oskarżonemu głos. Oskarżony może wrócić na miejsce. Nazwisko. Hilecki. Imię. Witold. Syn. here at the Tate House, attended by some of the biggest freaks and weirdos in Hollywood. I have to speak out against this multitude of slanders that you reporters write. For a selfish reason, you write. Unbearable for me. Terrible things about my wife. All of you know how beautiful she was, but only a few of you know how good she was. Sharon did not use dope. While she was pregnant, she wouldn't even have a glass of wine. There was no marriage trouble. There were no orgies. The last few years I spent with her were the only time of true happiness in my life. <laughs> 